Martin, that was the Maple Leaf Rag by Scott Joplin. Uh, it was composed in 1897 and published in 1899. A lot of interesting things happening in this piece. So for one, I really like to think of this idea of European harmonization meeting African syncopation in the way that we have this, this, this melody, this so the chord progression and the cadence point. The chord progression being this root chord to the five and going back to the root. And I say classical music because I think that this is the, a textbook example of this classical sound. Like if I play that same, that Mozart sonata uses that same sound. And really that's just like this cliche textbook example um, of this classical sound. Um, and where this African syncopation comes in at is this idea that um, the melody in it on the beats where that on the beats that are usually weak so basically like if I play um, a pattern that you might find in an, in an African drum progression I guess uh, you will hear the the accents or the heavy beats on the weak where the weak beats would normally lie so basically uh, the beats that would normally be the and uh, the accents are on those beats so That's why you might hear me accent beats that, are, that might seem irregular. It really gives us this off, off beat feel, this rag, ragged feel. Um, moving forward, we have all these other things that the church and Bap the Baptist church really later adopts. So, this sound that I'm talking about basically is this. They have this thing where when the preacher's preaching, in order to build suspense, the, you might hear the musicians play this. Really harmonically, musically, it's tension and release. Tension and release. Uh, but the church really uses it as just that and to, to increase like audience participation, basically. So you might hear them play all that. But this doesn't really come into the church up until the 1920s, late 1920s, early 1930s. And that's what the modernization of the Baptist church. And I think that that's really interesting because Scott Joplin is using the same concept in 1899 in the Maple Leaf Rag. And he's using that here. That same sound. The same things are happening harmonically. Um, that could be a stretch, but if I take it up and in the phrase, I know it's the same thing because he uses the exact same thing harmonically and rhythmically. Harmonically, we still have this same tritone. same sound and then rhythmically we have the same thing that the piano player does in the church and then that comes into in later and later into church music like shout music and all that stuff but it's the same theoretically and actually actually I know that that's not a coincidence um in the late 1920s there's a lady named Arizona drains she's a ragtime player and she introduces her style of ragtime into the church and the church later adopts it giving us the sound that's why when I play this, you might hear me play. That Baptist walk up. So that's that. The next section in the B section, um, we might get all these Afro-Cuban references from Scott Joplin. And I say that to say that he's really using this, this, this sound that comes from the, the Afro-Cuban sound. That stylistic to a, a ragtime or march, but really it's just fifth, root, fifth, root, root, fifth, root, fifth, and so on. Uh, the fifth and the root make up this this Latin sound in a way. Like if I played it like this, fifth, root, root, fifth, root, fifth. The same things are happening harmonically. 
And if we take it a step further, um, we see that Scott Joplin is using a 2-3 clave rhythm. That's the 2-3. One, two, one, two, three. Same thing. And actually, he uses another Latin element, which is chromaticism, which is a, a leading, a leading uh, stylistic approach to Latin music. Um, he uses chromaticism, though. The half steps down, and then the same clave rhythm throughout the whole melody. And so on, and, and he really creates this like Afro-Cuban vibe, like if I played it. really interesting because in this way this music is like this idea of of Americanism basically like the melting pot of all different types of music um, and really we see that all this music is laced in ragtime music um, all these things come together to make up this one this one art form that isn't coincidental um, that it, it comes out in, in 1899 so I think in this way that Scott Joplin is definitely innovating and bringing all these sounds together